Hello everybody. Well, I'm going to do a video that I've been meaning to do, that I've been putting off, and that I was inspired to do from a comment from a, one of my subscribers saying that he missed videos of me walking late night with Maggie. Well, I had to get rid of Maggie, I think it was the end of July, or the beginning of August. So I, I thought I'd talk about that a little bit, and maybe you guys can leave some comments when you had to get rid of pets. that you had an emotional attach attachment to and I'll tell you what happened it's uh, my wife never really liked the dog so it wasn't difficult for her I mean she hated all the hair I didn't realize when I got the Rottweiler that the her hair was gonna be such a problem I mean her hair was everywhere in our other house but the first floor of the house was tile so was, you know sweep it up wasn't that big of a deal did get in the food sometimes up on the counter and stuff it's just I don't know I, I shook my head at that when that would happen but anyhow my son was devastated he didn't want to do it and the main the main thing well, it was a bunch of things that happened we moved we got another house and ever since then things started going downhill for Maggie she uh, she just wouldn't respect uh, anything. I mean, she I'd take her in the backyard, and she couldn't be left in the backyard. There was brand new sod, and she was just putting brown spots everywhere on the sod. She wouldn't go a certain part of the yard, so everyone had to be with her. And whenever she went out there, there was a little chihuahua on the other side of one fence, and she was running up and down the side of the fence, destroying the flowers over there. And so I was thinking, all right, so I'm going to build a, a dog run for her. Well, the only side of the house I could do that on is full sun. It should be in the sun all day long this summer. So, okay, so I'll build some shelter for her. Well, when's all that going to happen? You know, I'm quite a busy person. So, so anyway, she was in the garage a lot, and then my wife wouldn't have her in the house at all. Because the, the carpets are light, light beige, almost white. And her black hairs were everywhere. I mean, and then I, I kind of got on board with that. I mean, this, this is not working out. I guess the icing on the cake was the insurance. I wasn't able to have homeowner's insurance with the dog, and they wouldn't cover her, so she started to become a liability. So I looked into getting a separate policy for her. It was going to be about 800 bucks a year. So, you know, the dog was starting to become really expensive on top of you know, all these other things that were going on, and then... Oh, there was one more thing. She started be getting a little bit um, aggressive. I mean, she was supposed to be a guard dog, and I never taught her to be aggressive. I mean, she was never aggressive to my children, but very protective of them, and that's what is uh, Rottweilers are known for. So my son had a friend over, and luckily I, I, had, I was holding on to her, and she lunged and barked at him, and I was kind of scared me I mean I didn't know what she planned on doing and another time at the park same thing I had her on a leash lunged and barked you know fairly aggressively at some kids so just everything added up I've just had to you know just like you do in life sometimes had to do what I had to do and it was difficult the first day was difficult I mean I shed a couple tears because I had an emotional attachment to the dog it's it was just a difficult thing I couldn't even do it I had to have my wife do it um, she took the dog and I was surprised my son wanted to go because he played with the dog more than anybody and he didn't want her to go but I explained all these things I just told you and he knew that she had to go but um, you know it's it just one of those things so my wife found a place and they went and they took the dog and it's a place where, um, you know, they find a home for her. They adopt her out. And there was a swimming pool there. And, you know, she hadn't gone swimming because the new house, we don't have a pool anymore. So I guess she got to go swimming. And then I saw online that she was adopted. So I, you know, I, she's probably, hopefully, got it better off now because she was in the garage a lot. And I just, it just didn't work out. So. You know, I kind of miss Maggie. Um, 
but that's it. I just wanted to let you know there won't be any more videos with Maggie. And um, however, my son, he has a new pet. He has Drake, a bearded dragon, which he enjoys having. And I told him I'd, I'd let him do a video. I will do a little video on Drake, put it on the channel. He's been wanting to do a video, so I told him we'll do a video and uh, so you can look for that um, and I'll end this with a little clip of Maggie as kind of a tribute to because she was part of the channel I, I put her in several videos and uh, anyway that's it everyone bye